hey guys, what's going on? I'm Oliver Kenyon and I am a CRO expert of 12 plus years. I have an unhealthy obsession with turning clicks into customers. And in this video, I'm gonna break down what I would do if I was in charge of running A-B tests for Wayfair. So before we jump in, if you are watching this and you're an e-com brand and you want my com company ConversionWise to run A-B tests for you, then get in touch at conversionwise.com or click the link below the video. But for now, let's jump into my test ideas. So we start with the product page and point number one and two, and this is an image test. So I would be adding image thumbnails below the image slider itself. It gives people a real visualization that there's more images, a better experience, and then therefore they can click through more images, view your product in more detail, and obviously let's optimize those Im images as well. Number three is I would be using social proof above the fold. Yes, they have this kind of some form of social proof with a small little rating and a number, but we can really enhance that by calling it out showcasing how many happy customers we have and just putting it in front of people's faces in a better way. Number four, a test we like to run on all e-com product pages. If you have different colors, so you have one product but it comes in different colors, instead of using color swatches, actually using real pictures of the image. It gives people a better way to visualize what actually changes when it comes to the color of that individual product. And obviously once it's clicked, the image slider at the top would then go to that specific color of that specific product. But most importantly as well, we've pulled that option above the fold. Moving on swiftly to the cart draw, or cart slider, whatever you wanna call it. And test number one I would be running is a free shipping plus gift prompt. So what this is, is a little gamification with inside the cart and basically it incentivizes people to add more to their basket to then unlock certain benefits benefit number one being that free shipping benefit number two being a free gift number two goes hand in hand with the free shipping prompt and that is adding in cut cross or upsells obviously i would have this dynamic where it would show products that were related to the product that i actually added into the cart but i would then further increase the client's aov by having that free shipping prompt supported by easy in-cart additions. And last but not least, I would be pushing that continue to checkout button down to the bottom of the fold. We've tested this extensively on multiple stores and it goes without saying that people's thumbs on mobile are towards the bottom of the page when it comes to a cart and a checkout. So keeping it consistent with that all important add the cart button on product page, then checkout page button, in my opinion, would increase the amount of people who are going to check out and stop people trying to look and search for that button. And last but not least, the homepage. Now, apart from this looking visually way better, in my opinion, here's five things I would be testing. One, I would add a trust policy bar. This is just a bar that states some things that make you really trusted as a company. Now, Wayfair has probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions of customers and reviews. So I would be slapping that in front of people up there put your satisfaction guarantee, put your money back and return policies inside this bar and really get your value across to your cold consumers. Two, again, they haven't got any social proof above the fold. That's really easily done with one line, stars and amount of happy customers. Three, we've used an emotive and transformative headline that really helps suck you in as a user, makes you see the value and visualize your improved home when you buy these products on Wayfair. For, as you can see, in the previous design, these guys use these kind of blocks with no real call to actions. It's all missed messaging. There's no real direct response message. So we've combated that by having shop bestsellers now or taking them to certain collection pages, but one clear call to action that just drives people exactly where we want them to go. And five, we supported that with this really nice product image. Now this could be a carousel. I'm not a huge fan of carousels, but what I would do is I would switch this out based on intent, also testing different top selling products, etc., uh, and and see what generates the most click through. So there's my test ideas for Wayfair. If you have any more, or if you would like to suggest some, make sure you comment below. Hit that subscribe button to see more breakdowns and stay on top of videos that we're releasing every single week. And if you want my CRO agency to run some A-B tests and optimizations for your store, get in touch with us at conversionwise.com Click the link below the video and I'll see you in the next optimization by Oliver.